Yo guys, what's up? Um, coming back here, actually, this is a brand new series, but uh, what we're going to be doing today is, you may be wondering, what is this? What? What? And you're just like, shocked and odd. Well, this is a team randomizer that has an export to Showdown. So I can click on this and just export right over to Showdown. And then I also have, it tells you what you're super effective to, what you're weak against, and what you have on your team over here and uh what we're gonna be doing is this is gonna be a series called uh tier time like the tier you know like oh you 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 all that stuff but uh, what we're gonna be doing is starting with pu week one which is gonna be this week and what i'll do is i'll click randomize and it will randomly uh it will randomly like select all this stuff for you and it'll give you the sets natures and everything and abilities and uh yeah so when we when we click randomize it will come up with the team. It'll tell us the average stats over here. If we have like a high attacker, high special attacker, a bunch of defense, it takes the averages, right? And then it tells you what you're strong against, how many moves. Like it says 15 water. You got all these thunderbolts, which count for one. Volt tackle counts for one. All this stuff counts for one to each weakness. And then it tells you what you're weak against, so you know what to watch out for. And this pretty much tells you like if you have defogger. Some with quick attack, extreme speed in this case, uh, wherever that is. It also tells you if you have knockoff, hazards, like stealth rocks, all that stuff, all that good stuff. And um, I'll have the link to this website in the description if you guys want to go check it out. But as of right now, I'm going to click randomize and get our team. And let's see here. Okay, I'm going to analyze the team a bit when it randomizes. Okay, so starting off, we have Leafeon with Bata Baton Pass. Synthesis, Leaf Blade, and Roar, and it has Chlorophyll, Leftovers. I kind of like this, but it doesn't have enough attacking moves in my opinion. I don't know really why it has Baton Pass. But uh, next we got Glaceon. We got like three Eeveelutions. Next we got Glaceon with Protect, Baton Pass, Ice Beam, and Wish. Once again with that Baton Pass. And then uh, next we got Seeking with the Damp Rock, and it's Lightning Rod, which is what I wanted. And that's a nice ability. It's Ice Beam, Waterfall, Mega Horn, and Rain Dance. So it is mixed. And then we got Flare on here with Wish, Toxic, Flare Blitz, and Superpower with Flash Fire. I love this set. I almost prefer it to be um, Guts. But you know, either way it works. And then we got Viper here with Glare, Poison Jab, Earthquake, and Giga Drain, and Shed Skin, my favorite of the two. And then we got Star Ravia here with U Turn, Brave Bird, Defog, and Return. And then it has the Intimidate ability. Which is better with Reckless, and it is Eviolate. And then over here, let's see, we have a lot of physical attackers. And we don't have many good stats all around, but uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but at the end of each episode, we'll choose an MVP. Let's say it's Seeking. I don't know why, but let's just say Seeking does the best, lives the longest, gets the most kills. What we'll do is we'll click the lock button, and what that means is when we randomize it next, that means it will stay, and then all the rest. So when I click Tier, and then it changes the Tier... Seeking will stay, but everyone else will change. So that's how we're going to do it. And what's going to happen is we're going to do like three, two battles an episode, depending on. This one's a little bit going to be a little bit longer because it is the introduction to the series. And then let's say I win two and then two out of three. I don't know. Whatever. Whoever does the best gets to stay. Whoever does the worst doesn't get to stay. And we're only going to advance on win week. So, for example, if we get two out of three, I consider that a win week because we got a winning average. But if we lost, then we just re randomize next week. And let's say I do get this one. The next week we go to NU. Then we lose in NU. We just reset from PU again. We're going to try and get all the way up to Ubers and win, uh, get a winning record in Ubers battle. And uh, once that happens, that will be like our final team and that will be pretty cool. And uh, with that, I'm going to export this over to Showdown and give him some nicknames. So I'll see you in a second. Yo guys, uh, so pretty much what I just tried is I tried to look for a battle, and then over here it says that there's Baton Pass Clause, which means I can only have one Pokemon with each move. So I'm unfortunately going to have to take away Baton Pass, and just leave it without a move, and from there we're just going to go with three moves on our Leafeon. And uh, let's get into this battle here. Okay, so they've got a pretty nice team. They've got that Technician. They've got, I just blinked on all their names, but let's see, they've got Electric, Electric. Uh, they've got a pretty decent team. they got huge Electric weaknesses, and they just set the timer on me. They've got that thing right there. 
just fight type weakness. I'm going to start out with my Seeking Regime. Just because why not? And yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I got. I see that Raichu being a good start. Okay, so we start with this thing. And I usually run drill mine on my uh, drill run on mine, but this is different, so I'm gonna go ahead for the rain dance. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the rain dance. No, it's gonna shell smash. I need to go out into boardroom the Leafeon. Because that Shell Smash is extremely scary and can sweep, so hopefully it, it's that that's going to work when I go to my Leafeon. It's not going to just turn away from me. Here's Leafeon, boardroom. It's going to Shell Smash, like I said. But now I'm a Grass type, and let's see, he gets Poison Jab, I think, which I hope he does. He's not White Herb, though, which is a little bit weird. I'm going to go ahead for the Leaf Blade. I'm going to go for the Leaf Blade because that's quite effective. He's got Poison Jab. I live because Leafeon's defense is so high. Do you see how high that is? That's sky high. That's his best stat. Okay, so Leftovers recovers nice. And it's going to send out its Gengar, or Taunter, I'm guessing. Because that's going to do the most with that Sludge Bomb or Sludge whatever it's got. Uh, okay, so here comes up the Raichu, actually. I don't know what it's trying to bait, but I'm just going to go for a synthesis just to scout. And if I die, I'm fine, but I kind of want to just scout, and I feel like synthesis would be the safest thing. Hidden power. I don't like that. I'm going to go into Star Ravia, and then switch into Seeking so I can uh, so I can get him to use that electric type attack. And get his attack lowered for whatever reason I need that for. But we're going to go ahead out into Rejon the Seeking so I can get this special attack raise. If he decides to attack. Uh, okay, so he switches out actually. So I, I was a wrong prediction by my part, but I got Mega Horn. So that's all good and fine because I'm super effective against him. And that's going to do a lot. And I mean a lot. Unless we pack Shockwave on this or Magical Leaf. I pack both usually. This should kill. It doesn't kill. It's a little bit disappointing. But Magical Leaf's coming, so I can switch Ray out into. I feel like I should just stay, just because I don't want to sack anyone else off. I mean, switching is better, I guess, but who am I going to outspeed with this 172 speed? No one. His team's pretty fast. Uh, I'm going to go out into my... I'm going to go out into Maple. I'm going to go out into Maple, and I'm going to U-turn. I hope he doesn't have Shockwave, but if he does, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all okay. Got that Intimidate off. I'm going to go for the U-turn now. We can live a shockwave. It's not even stabbing. This EV light's gonna like make us live. Let's see what he, oh, I just want to see what he goes for though. It's gonna go for. Might just go for the psychic because it's stab. But I mean, shockwave would be better overall if you had that. I don't know though. It's not. It's not mine. It's his. And I. I pack shockwave. That's just my choice. He may have icy wind on it because I have icy wind on mine also because I like. Get that technician boost really counting. It goes for the icy wind. It does Oko, even though I'm Eviolite, but I guess that makes sense. I'm going to go into Foxiness, the Glacian. The Glacian. Let's see here. We can go ahead for the Ice Beam, because that's all we got. But I think we bulk whatever he throws at us. Once again, defense is my highest stat. Wow. I'm going to check over here. Let's see. Oh, close window. I only have two good against Psychic, and I only have one Psychic Weakness. But he got frozen! Woo! That's good, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead for the switch out into... I have nothing for this. I'm going to go into this, though, because I'm nice and... Giga Drain, actually. I do have something for it. That's nice, that's nice. I'm fine that the froze bro Freeze broke. Oh, he's Dynamic Punch! That's a thing. That's a thing. I'm Giga Drain. How much my special attack? It's decent, but not good enough. I'm going to Giga Drain. Try and get rid of the sub so I can glare next turn. But he's going to get off the focus punch, which will do massive... And he's going to bulk up. It's even worse. Can he... It doesn't... Oh. Are you kidding me? Okay. I thought that'd break the sub. I thought that'd break the sub. I just want to get the glare off, because now he's going to focus punch and Oko me. And bulk up again, actually. So that's actually not that bad, because if I get that faded, 
He outspeeds, which is the only problem. He's going to go for a substitute, so I'm going to go for the... You know, that's super effective, but my attack's a lot higher. Yeah, i got to go for the Giga Drain. I have to. I can't not. I can't not. I was going to go for the Glare, but... Oh, he doesn't kill. I should have gone for the Glare. I should have gone for the Glare. I thought he'd kill with the Waterfall. So, I guess it's a loss, unless if I pull something miraculous out of nowhere, out of thin air, as thin as hair, out of the air. Let's go ahead and switch right into this transit, for no apparent reason, and go for the... I have something on this, don't I? I have that Flare Blitz and Superpower. I My phone is just buzzing to death. Oh my goodness. I put it on my bed so it won't distract me, but it's buzzing so much. I'm dead. I, I already know that I lost. Unless a Glaceon can pull it back, because Glaceon's defense is decent. But I can do anything to it is the only problem. Do I have Roar on this? It's, it's irrelevant. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Let's go for the Wish. I want to see how much he does. Because if he doesn't do that much, because my defense is... Circle Throw. Did a lot more than I wished, but now I'm going to just go for the Protect, because I know it can bulk a hit, a circle through. I'm going to bulk two. I hope he doesn't predict me protecting and go for the bulk up, but I'm going to go for Ice Beam next turn. I mean, I know it's GG, but I don't want to see how long I can last with this thing. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that, and then next turn I can... Let's see, I'm going to circle through to 59%. I can Ice Beam. And do I outspeed? It's, it's kind of irrelevant, but he's going to go for the Bulk Up, which is quite nice. And get that Ice Beam off. And I mean, I can get another... I'm going to get an Ice Beam off. He's going to go for the Circle Throw, which is probably Oko now that it is considered being the fact that he is... Plus some more attack. And I want to get the freeze. Can I get the freeze? That'd be nice. And there's no way that I'm beating that, like, thing up right there. That one. That one's got jump kick anyway, so... Can I get, like, the crit freeze flinch? Something must be going on with my phone. I'm just gonna, like... Oh my goodness. I I'm gonna lose this. I would forfeit, but I'm not that type of guy. I mean, like, you saw my Mo battle. Like, Mo said I should have quit. I'm not a quitter. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to lose like a man. I'm going to take it in the face. Like a pie. Like, you know those pies, right? Like, those pie, those those pies that the clowns this like get in their face. It's going to be me. And it's going to be like a pie in the face. I'm going to take it straight to the face like a man. And he won. That was a pretty bad match. And look for another battle. And unless if I win this one, I won't do another one. But which will mean next week I'll just re-randomize. And yeah, I want to. I want to win. I want to win. This this is like yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, this one is obviously PU. So if we win this one and we go to another one and we win again, we'll choose the MVP and then put you can put that in the description or if no one puts it in the description, I'll choose it myself. And then, yeah, I'm going to start out with Maple, because why not? I didn't even look at anything. He's got a Ghost, Poison, Normal, Psychic, Electric, and Fire. He's got a pretty mixed team there. All different types, no same, no, no sharing of the types. That's, that's illegal in his country. But I lowered his attack, which is what his stat is good of. So I'm going to go ahead for the return, because I don't want that recoil as of right now. And he's got nothing for me, because he's physical. Unless it's a weird special Arbok, that makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, there's so much nonsense in that, that, like, he might as well just not make sense. That did enough, that did enough. He's going to coil, which will raise his attack and defense and accuracy, which will make it so I can just return. And I'm actually going to Brave Bird in case if he goes into the Drift Bloom predicting my return. So I can still hit him. Which would be nice. That'd be great. Oh, he goes for the Sucker Punch. I I don't usually pack Sucker Punch on mine. But, um, I mean, that's just me. That's just me. I prefer, I prefer a nice Gunk Shot Octail. And I prefer to have 
coil over a third move, but that's just me. I mean, I guess for coverage it'd be better, but slow start here, so I can go ahead for the Brave Bird. Uh, I could switch out into my Flareon to get the super power off, but you know it's all fine. Or if I had a Setter Upper, that did absolutely nothing. Oh my goodness. Ugh. 32% is going to break the sub, so I can go for the, the next Brave Bird. That will be quite nice, quite nice, because that sub is gone. It's dead and gone. Thunder Wave is probably going to end up taking me down, and he's going to go for the substitute, but I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird. He's going to go straight for the Brave Bird. He's going to go for the Drain Punch, actually. So I'm going to bring out the Flareon, so I have the Super Power. It's nice and super, super power. Mega Super. Uh, I could Toxic it, because it's going to go behind the sub. I don't know if Super Power would kill right away, but I'm just going to go for the Toxic as of right now. Probably should have just gone for Super Power because it's low enough, probably, but, you know, I... Okay, let me get out of here and let me click on Super Power. <laughs> I, I clicked on Super Power and just... You know, I'm upset about that, but... In the long run, it's going to make his Regigigas a little bit useless. So I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz because I don't want the attack lower. I do not want my attack to be lowered. Or else I'm going to have to switch. And he could just... Oh. He's nothing to take me out. Sure, he uses me out stick, but I'm going to one-shot it. Oh, unless if I hit myself. Like that. He's going to probably toxic me. No. Why would he toxic me? He thinks I'm guts, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I am Balloon, but I mean, I can still be Guts just because... Oh, he's going to go for the Thunder Wave and Parafusion me out of the deck. I don't know what that means, but... Like, if there's, like, a deck, you know, right? Like a like a porch. Imagine me on there, and he's going to just parast install me out there on the deck. I'm going to go for the Mega Horn, because that's nice. That's nice and good. Hopefully he has Thunderbolt and thinks to go for Thunderbolt. I don't know why he would, but hopefully he does. He goes for the Charm. She's devastating, actually. This guy's really good. This guy's good. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, because he's probably going to charm again if he stays out. Uh, oh, he could have gone for the Thunder Wave, but now knowing that I'm Thunder... This guy's good battler. This guy's a good battler. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, see how much I can do. See how much I can do. That did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I'm going to get that pun. Uh, no, I didn't mean to click on that. I'm going to go into this thing. Because I am so strong with that nice and leaf blade. I, I bet he doesn't understand that I meant to click on Leafeon. But all is fair in level war. I'm going to go for the nice and super power. I really didn't. Oh, okay, he's going to go for the sub. I should have just flare blitzed. I hurt myself. I really wish that the Leafeon came out. Oh, gosh. I almost just, like, destroyed something. I'm going to go for the... Flare Blitz, if it lets me reselect, or if it's going to make me go for the... Okay, Drain Punch. Can I actually go for what I want to go for? I'm not going to go for what I want to go for. I'm, be, I'm, I'm being made a fool because of my, my misclicks and whatnot. But, uh, do you know, I just thought, what if Regigigas got a Primal Form and it became a... Imagine this, a Fight Type. It'd be pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. I mean, like, out of all Pokemon, if you could think of one that should be primal, who would it be? Who would it be? Ask yourself that. The number one answer is Regigigas. It's not in his prime, obviously. His moss growing on it. It's got slow start. And it's his prime. It's going to be a beast of nature. It's going to be a beast of nature. I'm going to have better luck roaring it out because, because of the fact being he's got his slow start off. And I'd rather him switch. And then I'm staying, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. He's going to go for that. Can I get off the roar? Can I get off the roar? I hit myself. This guy, G Medina, G Medina, G Medina. I'm going to go for the return now, probably, or drain punch, get health. Substitute, even better. Now I can't roar you, and I hit myself again. I'm getting hacks. I feel like this is Mo. I feel like this is mo- I should have brought a Meow Stick. I was just doing some random battles last night where I was trying to hack everyone. And I should have brought a Meow Stick. I should have predicted that, but I didn't. Okay, so there we go. 
I hope he doesn't go for the sub again. I want to go for Roar. Aurora Beam. And this guy knew my struggles right now. I mean, if I had to make a team, I'd make a team that sweep Regigigas off of this earth. Off of this earth. But, you know, that's what this is all about. I don't really get to choose. The power's not in my hand. It's not in my hand. I'm given what I have. It's a privilege to try and win. If I win, that's great. That's amazing. But I'm just trying to utilize what I have. And I'm predicting him going for this Confused Ray Ray here. I hope he goes for Confuse Ray, not Substitute, because I'm trying to get this Roar off, and Confuse Ray would be great, so I'm going to hit him with his Roar. All I'm trying to do, it's all I'm trying to do, nothing else but it. Confuse Ray, there we go, can I hit this Roar? There we go, there we go, that's exactly what I wanted, that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and switch Ray out into... I'm gonna say I'm gonna switch into Foxiness actually. And I'm gonna put up a wish. And yeah. I'm gonna, well, I don't know if I am. He's gonna go for the knockoff, which is gonna knock off my lefties. But that's, that's kind of like not that important. And knowing that what he's gonna do, I'm gonna go for the wish so that next round when he attacks me. Well, if he switches, I hope he does. I hope he's not like hidden power fight. That'd be devastating. But I didn't realize how good Glaceon's defenses were. They're not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty decent. I'm going to check right now, actually. Let's check here. Oh. Yeah, look at that. 110. 95. Defenses are pretty good. Okay, so let's see. Still, I'm chosen under attack. That drift limb over there. But uh, I feel like I feel like I'm going to lose. I, I, I don't, I don't want to say that, but I mean, like, it's getting pretty long, this episode here. But, I mean, it is the first episode. Next episodes will go a lot more smoothly because I can just go ahead and just click on everything I want. And I wanted to explain everything. And, yeah, so let's... What's taking this guy so long? Goes for the acrobatics. Gonna do nothing. You don't know about this guy's defenses. I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam. Because whatever comes out, I'm fine. I wish I had Heal Bell. That'd be a lot better than Baton Pass. Let me tell you... Let me tell you, this is Dab, so it should do more. It still only does 27. Okay, so I think I'm going to stay in and go for the Ice Beam. He's probably going to go for Confuse Ray. Probably what he's going to do. Most logical thing for him, I think. I'm going to go ahead and get the Ice Beam off. Thunder Wave. I should have predicted Thunder Wave. I was thinking Thunder Wave in my head, but I didn't think he had it. So I, I'm going to be outsped, and this... Oh, he's going to go for Drain Punch. Oh, snap. That's not going to do that much. He's going to go for Confuse Ray, actually. Paralyze. I'm going to... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into Viper. And from there, switch into Seeking so I can get my special attack rays. Because he's going to go for the Thunder Wave. Maybe he's going to predict me. I hope he doesn't. No, just, just, just to over-predict... I'm going to go for the Poison Jab, predicting him to confuse me, so next turn I can switch. Okay, that fades. Oh, he went for... Oh. I tried to predict him predicting me. Didn't work. Oh, I clicked on Glare. That's, I mean, I guess that works. It's not what I wanted, but... I, can, oh, I wish I had Aromatherapy. But now he's just slow, and I can go ahead and switch out into... Oh, I got that. Ooh, I got that cured. Okay, right, so I'm going to go ahead for this poison jab. He's probably going to switch out into his thing. Snapped out of confusion. Oh, it didn't kill. It didn't kill. It didn't kill. And, oh, that was predictions there. He could have went for the drain punch, but nah. Oh, he predicted him to switch into... Actually, no. I can't predict him to do anything. Because that drift limb will just have to take this. It's resisted. I know. I know it's resisted. It's just, I can't. And I hit the poison jab, so... The Meow Stick's gonna come out. It's gonna come out. That's it. That's 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 what I'm saying. It's gonna be Meow Stick, and it's gonna Thunder Wave me. It's Prankster, right? If this Meow Stick comes out, that is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch into my Seeking. Get that Lightning Rod boost. And just kill it with a Mega Horn. 
It's gonna charm. Okay, okay. All ice beam, predicting him to charm. Okay. Drift Blim comes out, which is the one I didn't want to see. But I mean, I got, I got, I got stuff for it. I can go into this. I was more so hoping to see that Meowstic come out for that Thunder Wave, but you know, can't always have it my way now, can I? Now can I? Um, I'm gonna go ahead for the Ice Beam. Nothing better I can do. It's probably gonna go out into the Rotom Frost right there, because it can take that pretty well. Pretty well, like, like, do you know how well? Like, imagine you trying to use Drain Punch on a Ghost Psychic type, right? Oh, we weakness policy? Are you serious? Are you fluffy kidding me right now? Uh, I can live whatever he deals out. This acrobatics. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, I lose right now, so it's pretty good that I lose. It's pretty good. Why? I'm just going to ask why. That's all I'm going to ask, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Leave it at that, because I can't outspeed it. It's going to oko everything that I have. Ah, I was going to say I'm able to bulk it, but he is plus two, so I can't, because that's super effective stab and plus two. I was going to say if he wasn't, because... Look at that defense! A monster defense. I love Leafeon. But this week is all dead and gone because we lost. So next week we're just going to click that random button. We're just going to click it like this and just click the randomized button. No, you can't see it because it's out of the screen. But it's going to go and Oko all the rest of mine. So that is a good good match. I mean, I lost, but that's still a pretty good match. He, he, got, the, he got the right tactics. And I want to get a more balanced team next week with some better sets and everything. Because as of right now, I don't think this is that balanced of a team, truthfully. I mean, I'm Sash. It doesn't even matter. I got another kill. Woo! It's exciting. It's going to go into this thing now and just paralyze me or go for whatever. Confuse Rain me. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think I know? Because I don't. Look at those predictions. I know exactly what it's going out into. And I'm going to, it's going to. Paralyze me, right? And I'm going to hit it and kill it with this Earthquake here. And I won't be able to do anything to that or that. Or I could do something to some It's going to... Oh, Sucker Punch. Oh, my goodness, guys. Okay. Okay. So, that's the end of the episode, guys. I lost. I lost and everything. So, I'm just going to say, though, a scenario that could have worked. If I glared there, predicting a Sucker Punch. Next turn, I went for the Earthquake. He missed the Sucker Punch because of the Paralyzation. Next, he went on to Rotom Frost. Poison Jab because I outspeed. I think, maybe. I doubt it. No, never mind. Poison Jab because I... Oh, I die at that point. Let's say I didn't die. I'd kill it and then send my Seer. I'd just Earthquake and that'd be a one win. But, you know, that was good. That was a good week. Uh, she's to learn what we can do and what we can't do. Once again, that link to the thing will be down in the description, and so like my Twitter and all that, go check that out. And with that, uh, I think I think that'll be it for tonight, today. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.